welcome back to another video. Today we're in the workshop and we are going to be making a pen holder. I'm super happy to have you come along with me on this project, so let's get started. This is the pen I'm making the pen holder for. I got it from a local craftsman. It's a fountain pen. It writes very nicely. So I want to be able to display it in a nice way. This is the design that I made up. It is going to have a little dish here for where I can store the inks. And this is where it is going to be held. Because the cap of the pen has this clip on it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for storing it because I'll have to drill the hole for the main part of the pen and then carefully chisel out a slot for the clip to go. The woods I have selected for this project are walnut and cherry. I'm going to make something like a little cherry sandwich of the walnut and I feel that will make some nice contrast and look very very nice. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is just cut the boards up to a rough length that'll be close enough to where I can do as little work with power tools later on. As you can see, these pieces are very roughly cut because what I will be able to do is use some spray adhesive with the drawing I made and attach it to this block once it's glued up and then I can get it very refined from there. That was terrifying. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. And I The blade just broke. I'll go run to the store and grab another one. So we are going to have to finish this with hand tools. the chamfers that I want cut into the block and now I'm ready to drill the hole which is marked right there with the center punch to accept the pen.
As you can see, the pen doesn't actually fit in the holder yet, and that is because we have to cut a little key slot in to fit the clip in. Okay, the moment of truth. Does it fit? Oh, that's a nice fit right there. I like that. Now it's just time for sanding. so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.